What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys, earlier today I already made a video about all the new things in the DLC. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out. And today we're basically doing the first mission of the new heist. And in this mission, you're basically gathering intel about the new island. That also means that we go to the new island. So you have a lot of cutscenes and you have a lot of things that are interesting but you guys can just explore them yourselves. I just want to show you guys the main things and the things that you really want to see, like footage of the island. So it basically starts with going to the plane and then we have the two ladies that we saw in the trailer. We also have Dr. Dre, that's pretty cool. Uh, very nice, I didn't know that to be honest, so I was quite surprised. But as I said, I'm not gonna show you guys all the cutscenes because that will take too long. I had like a clip of 50 minutes and 50 minutes is just a little bit too much for me to upload and you guys will just uh, get bored kind of. You can just do the cutscenes yourselves. So basically, you get on the plane, you arrive at the island with a bunch of celebrities and then also English Dave. You meet with El Rubio and then Dave says, okay, he's a tour guide, all of that. You guys can watch the cutscenes. I'm very glad that the submarine is, by the way, only 2.2 mil, so a lot of people can buy it. And then after like 10 minutes of cutscenes, you can finally play yourself. The first thing that I did was obviously open my map and look at the map of the island. We already knew how it would look, I think, like there were leaked footages okay, or just whatever. But just seeing it in the game the first time was very nice. Then we also get to drive the Winky. That's awesome as well. So you have a lot of freedom. Obviously, this is still a mission. It's not the same as in free mode, but you still have a little bit of freedom. So um, the Intel mission, what I'm doing right now is basically like the casino scope out mission. So you're searching for uh, what you want to steal, um, where you can enter and stuff like that. So um, you have to explore the island on yourself. But as we know, there is a lot of security. I will show you guys in a bit how it works. Basically, you arrive at the party. El Rubio talks a bunch with this guy, with this DJ, he gets mad, stuff like that. Just play it yourself. The cutscenes are awesome. I wanted to show you guys them, but it just took way too long. So the plan is, at the party, you get out from the back. Look out for the guards, of course, because no one can see you. No one can see that you get out. And then after a while, you have to get to the mansion of El Rubio because there's all the things like the gold, the cash, the drugs, whatever. But as I said, there is a lot of security on the island, so you have to sneak it. But I showed you the map and this island is huge. Also, if you go by car, the, the main cameras are always on the roads. So it's a lot harder and it also takes really long because you have to walk the entire island. Over here, I expanded the map, so I'm at the bottom right i think it is and i have to get to top right i don't know if you can see the yellow dot but you see a lot of red dots and those are basically all the people that can't see you so you really have to sneak your way across the entire island but as i said the first time it's really enjoyable because you can just walk around the island it feels a little bit like free mode i also went for a swim so uh, what I did was I basically just avoided the roads and that's how I got there. If you really want to sneak it and if you want to explore the roads as well, then you can just do it. But the guards will definitely see you. If they see you, they just take you back to the party and you have to start from scratch. So this is the mansion when you get there. Looks awesome, really awesome. And then you can see you also have a bunch of security. And what we had to do now is we went to a control tower where we could basically hack the cameras in the mansion and this way the same as with the casino you can use the cameras to basically explore the mansion so there's a new hack that i also wanted to show you guys you have a voltage that you have and then you have three voltages so five to five and on the right you have multipliers so um basically you have to arrange it so you get the voltage at the top it's not that hard for me it was just all straight and I also wanted to show you guys some footage on this tower. This was not necessary, but I just went up so you guys could see the island a little bit. Because um, that's also cool, of course. You guys want to see that. And I have to say, like I said, the island is huge. I know a lot of people, me as well, of course, wanted this in free mode. Probably everyone. But um, yeah, it's still nice that you can have this mission. You can explore. You can go back whenever you want to gather more intel. So just like in the casino, but in the casino, it's not that interesting because you just have to find some doors and some entrances. But on this, you have like a huge island that you have to explore. So it's really cool, actually. So this mission, I really appreciate it from Rockstar. I know free mode would have been nicer, but it is what it is. 
So then you have to use the cameras to explore the mansion. And I just wanted to show you guys this little cutscene where they feed a guy to the Jaguar. So El Rubio, his assistant, he did something wrong and they just feed him to this Jaguar. So that, that was just interesting for me. So I just wanted to show you guys. But as I said, the cutscenes, definitely nice. Definitely check it out. So over here, for example, we found a entrance with the cameras as well. So with the cameras, you can also explore, but then you also have a huge island to explore. Like you have a port, you have a north small port. Then you have like silent places where you can get in. And then, of course, in the basement, we have the main thing that we want, the Madrozo files. So if you don't know what it is, so basically um, El Rubio has some files about Madrozo, Martin Madrozo, and we're going to steal them back. You can also find things like this. So gold over here that you know for the heist. So that's also very cool. And then you can just scope out the house. You have a lot of places where you have gold. And over here, a beautiful image of this island, man. It looks great. It looks great. It has a lot of mountains as well. So it doesn't have like a city vibe. It's really just like uh, dirt roads and uh, mountains, basically. And then a little bit of houses. It's really cool, though. It would have been really cool if we could just play here in free roam. But as I said, this Intel mission is still awesome. So over here, I took the car because it's really far. I don't recommend that you take the car because you get spotted really easy. But of course, it's really nice to just drive around a little bit. So it doesn't matter that much. Then you also have to take some pictures of some stuff. So again, all for the heist, just some preps. But when you're doing this, again, you get to see the island. So uh, you have to take pictures, send them to Pavel. Pavel, basically the Russian guy in the submarine. But as I said, you have a lot of things that you can explore. I didn't do all of them. I have no idea what all of them are. Like Pavel tells you that there are certain things, but he also tells you like there are more things than I just said. So there are a lot of things you can explore. And as I said, the Intel mission, you can just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until you have everything you want. Then you also have a secondary take next to the North port or whatever. And it's basically weed for me. I don't know if it can be something else as well. But it's kind of like the daily vault, I think. So if you have time during the heist, you can also take this. And one thing that I just want to say, for example, that Pavel said during the, um, yeah, the intro of the heist kind of is, of course, when you're doing it solo, you have a lot less that you can take because it's much heavier to carry. So doing it with multiple people, obviously you get a bigger take. So there is profit to that, but you can also do it solo. So I was done, I just scoped out a little bit and then I went back. So you just have to go back to the pilot, to the plane. So this mission, just the intro mission of the heist, you can repeat it. And also it's still in a online lobby. That's very weird to me. So you still see that people leave and stuff like that. So I don't understand why it's not in free mode if you're playing it in free mode still. Basically, then we got back. I really like the cutscenes where you just land and um, yeah, lift off with the plane. It looks really cool, especially this one just landing back at Los Santos. Looks pretty awesome. And then uh, that's basically it. So if you want, you can go back to your submarine. You can start the mission and then you can do it again. Or if you have enough, then you can just continue with the preps probably. And then you can just go to the heist. I would recommend though, scope it out good. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to make a video about it as well. So you guys know all the locations that you need. The same as with the casino. That was pretty much it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and peace out you guys.